Hey there, thanks for coming along as we head into the Northwest Wilderness, this time on the Pacific Crest Trail, looking to go from Chinooks Pass to Snoqualmie Pass. All right, that's the view looking towards the west or southwest. This is from Forest Road 7080. We are up on Pyramid Peak, so we are starting just north of Chinook Pass, rather than Chinook Pass because of time and snow. And this is where it crosses, the PCT crosses the road and heads, we'll be heading north on the PCT to Snoqualmie. Then if time permits later in the week, we'll flip down and catch the miles from here to Chinook Pass and fill in. So we've covered from Snoqualmie Pass to Chinook Pass. It's nice that we entered under trees for cover for a bit as the sun's starting to warm up as it's late morning. Looking to make it to the next water source, hopefully by lunchtime, and then we'll see how the heat of the day is during this heat spell. Here's where you'd veer off to go up to Pyramid Peak, but we continue north on the PCT. One advantage to clear cuts is you do get open panoramas here and there. And looking back, we see what is probably going to be our last peak to top of Mount Rainier. Onward. All right, so a burn area, not just a clear cut. You can pause here if you want to read more info on it. But one negative to them is exposure. For the views, it's good. For the sunshine and the heat, definitely not so good. So glad to find water to cool down. Okay, so after cooling down with water, we actually stayed here and had a siesta. We are now packed up after supper. We are having an early supper and hiking in the evening when it's cool. Packed up, ready to roll. Coming out on this logging road. Must follow it up for a bit and then go off the side. But notice it does open up for a great... 
vista here. Looking for trail. All right, so even in the evening, it's still a bit warm for my taste, especially here on these open slopes where the sun's been baking it all day. But they do give you good views, and we ended up with another look back just a little bit at Mount Rainier. Maybe we'll see it again here in a bit. All right, we came from there, came out to cross this logging road and head across onward but first we gotta pause let me get up closer here and zoom in a bit and show you what an incredible vista there is from this road here not even sure what all i'm looking at but i'll zoom in and pan it's hazy and distant but you can at least get the idea Spectacular. We came across our first sign of elk this first track, followed by many more. And here we have the soft light of evening in the trees. It was beautiful to behold. All right, we found a place just off the trail there. Great flat spot for the tent for the night. And a short walk out here to a vista. I'll take you out there a second. All right, 5.30, we're on the trail, trying to enjoy some nice hiking before the heat begins for the day. Glad we started early because this cool air is helping since it's been a climb the whole way since leaving camp. Looks like a high point up ahead. We'll enjoy the cool air and see if there's a nice view sometime here. And here we did get an opening, so we open up to a panorama here. Beautiful morning this morning. First patch of snow on trail, although <laughs> small enough not to be worthy of note. Noteworthy is it's still uphill. Cresting soon, hopefully.
Looks like we got to the top of this morning's climb for now anyway. And we switched to the other side of the ridge. So we are back to the other view again. So quite an incredible viewpoint here. Notice the marmot surveying his kingdom, looking over the valley. Mountains in the distance. And this is the valley he's looking over here. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful area of flocks growing along the trail. Both sides of the trail here. Beautiful walking this morning. All right, so that's looking north towards section J. If we were going north from Snoqualmie, we'd be heading up through those. But we've been there and done that. Although must again someday, worth doing. Beautiful small white flowers growing down by the trail. And then whatever this shrub is, these bees absolutely love this shrub. You can hear it humming. Notice the dew claw marks at the back of the track here. This is one big boy, my shoe for comparison. All right, counting the miles to the next water source, nursing the final part of the last liter of water. We did a water carry last night and had dry camp, and this is a long dry stretch. We knew we weren't gonna make the mix water, so we had water for supper some water for breakfast and then it saves some for hiking today. Hopefully by lunch we'll reach the next water source. Okay, so I'm used to dogwood trees, which they do have in southern Washington, we saw in the PCT. But check out these little guys. They're about anywhere from four to six inches tall. And they're all along the trail here, on both sides of the trail. Pretty cool. All right, she's coming down the last pool here. Trail comes down and switch backs and heads back the same way. But right here at the corner, somebody put a sign for H2O. And down below it's the arrow pointing that way. So there's a faint trail through the brush that way. One tenth of a mile over to water and we are done our water carry. Okay, so we decided to press on from our lunch spot at the water. 
rehydrated ourselves, ate, rehydrated, got a couple liters of water because we decided in the evening it's not probably not going to cool down a lot. This is the hottest day of our hot spell. So we decided to press on and try to get this done before at least the hottest point in the day. Unfortunately, we bogged down on the uphill and it slowed us down and we are not beating the highest time of the day, but we're looking forward to water, getting wet, drinking, and cooling down a little bit through the heat of the day. And then we will see, and I see a PCT symbol up ahead, on track. All right, well, a bit ago we got to the water source. This is just a tiny trickle, but just around the corner up there, there's the one that's running a little bit better. So we got water, got cooled down, and since we were gonna be here for a bit trying to cool down, there was a tent site right here by the water. So we set up the tent and then the sun hit it, so we put up one good use for a poncho. We have a rain fly, but the sun shines through it too much. So I put up my poncho just on the corner where the sun is and it still lets wind blow through. So cooling off on this hot, hot, hot afternoon. All right, thanks for joining us to this point. Stay tuned for part two, which has our favorite campsite on the trip at the last night of our journey.